Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys a few tricks that you can perform on your iOS 11 device that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys didn't know most of these tricks existed and that you can perform them on your iOS 11 device. So let's get started with the first one. If you have an iPhone 10, you know that when you go to the edit mode, when you want to delete an app or rearrange them, you know that you will have to reach at the top here to click done in order to exit the edit mode, of course, because there is no home button, but there is an easier way doing it. So if you're on the edit mode, you don't want to reach here. All you have to do is just swipe like this from the bottom here, just like you do to exit an app and that will exit the edit mode. So you can see right here. Just swipe like this and you will exit the edit mode. On the Safari app, there is a trick that allows you to access your recently closed tabs. So if you have some tabs that you have just closed, you want to go back to one of them. All you have to do is just go to the tabs here and just press and hold that plus button and it will show you your recently closed tabs right here. And if, of course, you can reopen them easily from this page. If you're playing a game or doing something on the full screen mode on your iPhone, you can go ahead and just swipe here at the corner and it will show you a peak of your status bar. So it will show you the signal, the Wi-Fi signal and also your battery. So you can see right here, just swipe like that and it will show them. I'm not sure this will also work on other devices, but it does on the iPhone 10. On the iMessage app, when you go to a conversation, you will have the list of the apps here from which you can send stickers and that stuff but you want to hide that all you have to do is just tap that app store button right there so just tap and hold it release it and that will be hidden so if we go back there you can see that will be hidden of course you can show it again if you want to just tap and hold again it will show this so we go back we go again into the conversation and you can see the apps will be back there as you know by now, with iOS 11, Apple has removed the ability to completely turn off the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth directly from the control center. So if I tap here on the Wi-Fi, you can see it will go white, which means that it will only disconnect and won't turn completely off. But if you go to your airplane mode and tap there, you can see now you can go ahead and completely turn on or off the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth directly from the control center. On an iPhone with a home button, you can make the home button way more responsive, way faster. So just go to settings, go to general and scroll here to accessibility, then scroll all the way down here to accessibility shortcut and make sure everything here is not selected. So basically on your iPhone, there's a high chance that one of these will be selected and that will make the home button slower. So you can see right here when I close an app and especially when I go to the app switcher, you can see it takes their second to go to the app switcher. You will see the difference when I once I dis deselect that. So you can see exiting an app and also going to the app switcher. Just take a look how fast this is. You can see it immediately goes to the app switcher. You can see the, the difference there, a hang, and you can see how fast this is once I deselect all of these. So that is it for this video, guys. Some really cool tricks that you can perform on your iOS 11 device. Go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one.